Welcome back to our channel and my name is Selva Arun. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a UI formatter using a UI macros. This is really helpful way to customize your ServiceNow forms. So for more information, please visit this product documentation and uh, let me open my uh, use case here. So uh, for my specific use case, I have used this technique to display a hyperlink of knowledge base articles on the CMDB CI table. And the cool thing is there is a parent child relationship between the CMDB CI table and the knowledge table that we can leverage to create this. So instead of having a regular related list or UI action to display the KB article, we are going to do something bit different. Now you might be wondering why not just use a related knowledge related list or a UI action for this task. Those are definitely good alternatives and you might even have used them yourself. But for my specific use case, I wanted to go bit deeper and customize things with a UI macro. That's exactly what I will be showing you today. Okay, let's dive into service now. First, we will go to system UIs, UI macros. Let's create a new one. Please give the name the description and the script. I have already created one for this demo. So let's go through this script line by line. So the name of my macros is KB article underscore apps. So this is going to display the KB article on the CMDB CI table. So I have written a jelly script here. So the button is going to uh, show up as a view KB article. So, uh, and the script is going to get the SysID of the uh, application, um, which is the Sys CMDB CI application, and it will search in the KB uh, knowledge table using that SysID and the short description as Jira server base URL health check fails. And if a KB article is found, then the URL gets constructed and then it gets opened or it gets uh, the KB article opens in a new window upon clicking on that button. So uh, before I go further, let me show you the knowledge articles which I have created, especially for this use case. And it is called Jira Server Base URL Health Check Fails. And let's see how this article looks like. And this article I have uh, copy, I've copied it from the Jira website. And uh, you can leverage this use case for your own business requirement. So in order to create that parent-child relationship with the CMDB CI table, I have added a configuration item field and I have linked the CI here. So after these, after these steps, let's go ahead and create a, a formatter. So the formatter is found 
under the system UI and formatters. I have already created one for this demo. It's pretty easy to create it. All you have to do is click on view, sorry, new, and then give the name of the UI formatter and the formatter should be your UI macros name or the name of the UI macros and which is in our case which is kb underscore article underscore apps dot xml please remember to give the correct UI macros name and end it with the dot xml and select the application um, sorry select the table name for the UI formatter. So in my for my use case, I have selected the CMDB CI APPL table and the formatter, the type is formatter. And if you click on this and you can see the UI macros. So our step, uh, our second step is done. So let's go ahead and add this UI formatter to our CMDB CI APPL table. So let's quickly go to that um, table. And let me open this Jira app and you can see that this button is already added. So in order to add your UI macros, you will have to go to configure form design. And if you scroll down towards the field section, you under the and under the formatters, you would see this formatter. Since I have already added this formatter, um, it's not visible. If you're adding it for adding it for the first time, you will have to drag and drop it and then just click on save. Let's test our UI formatter. So we can also see that there is a related list here. So if we click on this, this will open in the in an edit mode, which I do not want it because I want the users to see the articles in the view mode. So in order to achieve it, we have created a UI macros, then the UI formatter, and we have added that UI formatter to our to our form. So let's test it out. So once I click on this view KB article, it is going to uh, show us the KB article number in a hyperlink format. So upon clicking on which the the article opens up and uh, it's not in the so yeah since I'm an admin I do get an option to edit it here but this view is way better than the related list and also you can create it you can create an UI action too and uh, that's it guys uh, so I hope now you have a better understanding of how to use UI macros to create custom UI formatters in ServiceNow. This method is powerful and flexible. I encourage you to explore it for your own use cases. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have used similar approach in your project. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. See you next time.